Hello, if you want to listen to this in English, please fast forward to the timestamp in the description box below. We mwega. Omothe to kwaria maodo mana makonie murimo wa endometriosis. Murimo yo ohoraga nyogo ya mwana na neodhubora gatumia aige muno. Wa bere endometriosis ni murimo we ruo muno. Oka gariria nyama kana tishu ya mwena wa thini wa nyogo ya mwana yaja gya kwa mahetia kweoba mwena wa ja ya nyogo ya mwana wa kere endometrium nike endometrium nego ya mwena wa thini wa nyogo ya mwana ota shiga shio the shia mwere endometrium idoreketwa na zero kana cells biseno e hau Ira kuonia hari ya nyogo ya mwana ere mwere ni wa mutumia na gatagate ni nyogo na niurona gothi ya thinie na tushira tu matube na hari ya matube madhoda kagirwo kana ovary endometrium ino ni moya kiri akiumaga kuma mwere ri ya mutumia ena period kana kahida kari ya ka mweri ka mutumia Ihi darere de faga go ne more kyuri shieta go hormones na mutumia rerea e nada endometrium eno neo emwe eteiva kia mwana ajie kukura waga tato dagetare na adhuduria adha ya adhi matio efio kehumo kia muri moyo kwa gwane hinya kumenya wega kehonia kia guo gwe shioria nyege shia merimo na biology sita kora guo na mashokio na murimoyo ni umwe wa ishio jiremwe adhuduria adha ya dimeshira kia murimoyo ureha gwone number 1 retrograde menstruation o nereri adha kame ya period ena thero shia endometrium isho kagana dhuda igere ile fallopian tubes na erore tejo hero ya mutumia kana pelvis ure akamu gwe kona neti haubisha ini Jerege eta guo cellular metaplasia. O nerele ya zero shia garuru kashiga tueka zero shia mudhe boge. Murimu ini uyo, zero itare shia nyogo ya muana, e garuru kaga, ika huwana zero shia endometrium. Jerege ekonie muigana wa amore kiuri eta guo estrogen. Muigana wa amore kiuri eno oige ige hama kiria, Zero shia endometrium ika mata na ikongerereka na ikaiba na no imagine ate koiba goko kongie ke kaja ya nyogo mudu akarwara makiria hii no weorie niki zero shira kura hari ashitagireire shikura ga todo zero iria shigitagirira mwere kana immune cells neire magone kogireria zero shia endometrium gukura hari ashitagireire Oke okay, kedo ya kana ne twari uhoro wa murimo maciaro kana mori to mage makiria ne mare kuhihi wa bere murimo yo weru wa muno wa kere ne mathina mako atakugea mwana tondu nyogu ina iroda na mathina mage makonie thonge kana blada agikorwo thero cia endometrium ni shikurete kwayo kana gashira kari akakuwaga mathugumo kuma higo kana mahurine Dero shia endometria mshigi kura mahurine ni kuhu korona ve na wako hii hia. Nidao ka video eno ni hako ruta maodo makoni ya morimo wa endometriosis. Nidao ko tigira mgaadhe ka shia maodo maya hau kia da ha description box. Oge da mataro maage na mwaka ori ya dagetare waku. Oyo ne morimo morito na dagetare agire monego hodikire ria na mwaka ori. Usharie oge ogo hutaivia. Vegyo nego vikiriria. Ketu kona na video ya oge. Hello! Today's chat is about four key things that I want you to know about the disease of endometriosis. Thing number one. Endometriosis is a painful condition in which tissue that is from the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus. Thing number two. What exactly is the endometrium? So the word endometrium describes the inner lining of the uterus. Like all the organs of the body, the uterus is organized of many cells, some of which are organized into a type of tissue that lines the inside. 
This picture shows you where the uterus is in the body of a woman. In this central part, you see the uterus itself and you see the lining. And then you see the paths where the egg travels and the place the eggs are made, which is the ovary. This tissue is some of what is shed during the bleeding part of the menstrual cycle or the period. And this time is coordinated by a complex balance of hormones. And if you get pregnant, the endometrium helps support the early phases of development. The third point is what causes it and how can you prevent it? So at this time, it is not clear what causes this disease and so it's hard to know how to prevent it. There are many questions related to many diseases and also just in the field of biology in general that are not well understood and this is one of them. So even though there are no specific answers to kind of explain this disease, there are ways that doctors and scientists currently think about this disease. And so some of the thoughts that scientists and doctors have as to what causes this disease is first, this idea of retrograde menstruation. So this is when menstrual blood containing endometrial cells flows back through the fallopian tubes and into the pelvic cavity at the time that blood is normally supposed to flow out of the body, like the arrows show on your screen right now. Another potential explanation is this idea of cellular metaplasia, which is when cells change from one form to another. And essentially this is to say that there are some cells outside of the uterus that change into endometrial-like cells and they start to grow and respond to the same signals that the endometrium responds to. Another way of understanding this disease has to do with this idea of high amounts of the hormone estrogen. So high amounts of this particular hormone increases inflammation and thickness of the endometrium. So you can imagine if you have cells growing outside the uterus and they are responding to estrogen in this way, that can increase the pain associated with the disease. So you might wonder, why are there cells growing where they shouldn't be growing? So usually the immune system monitors this type of situation, but in this particular disease, the immune system does not function like it should. So point number four. So in the other points, we've discussed about the disease and about understanding the basics of the disease itself. What are some of the complications of this disease? So first, it can be very painful. Second, the patient can have issues with fertility because the uterus might have scar tissue. Some other kind of complications include bladder issues if this endometrial tissue has grown around the bladder or even on the tube that takes urine from the kidney to the bladder or if the tissue has grown on other organs like lungs then that means the patient might have issues of breathing or lung collapse. I hope that this short video taught you one or two things about the disease of endometriosis. I have listed some further resources for you to read below. For more specific advice, I recommend that you speak to a doctor because this is a real disease. If your doctor does not take you seriously, please find another one who will give you their time and attention to help you deal with this disease. Thank you for listening. I will see you in the next video.